I was 23 when I did turn Mei Guang, okay? Very cute because it was very natural. Now 45, you want me to turn Mei Guang, 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 Guang? Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to another episode of E-Junkies and we are going to be hosting a, a reunion of the Chinese sitcom, the 1998 sitcom, uh, The Right Frequency or otherwise known as Bo Ying Ren but if those titles don't jog your memory then maybe you all might know Chen Mei Guang 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 <laughs> So joining us on the show today uh, will be Sharon Ao who plays Chen Mei Guang and her co-star Lina Ng who plays Xiao Lapa. Hi Lina, Sharon, thank you so much for joining us today. It's really very nostalgic. Bo Ying Ren, the right frequency was 22 years ago. Oh my god! <laughs> oh goodness, you have, to, you have to stress on that, right? 22 years ago. Back when we were first uh, discussing this topic, right? We were saying, okay, how about we, we get reunion of the right frequency? And someone asked, what is the right frequency? Then we only had to do one thing. We just had to say, Chen Mei Guang 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 Everybody knows what show it is already. What are your memories of the show and when you first started recording it? I think this show in particular, every single character left a very deep impression because right after they say Chen Mei Guang, they will say Xiao La Ba and they will say Yan Dao and they will say Mi Bao, Fai Fu Ren. It is really a comedy where it has walked into the lives of Singaporeans because after 22 years, back on Netflix, people are giving me a lot of text messages telling me how much they miss the show. I mean, we do have a lot of sitcoms during that time, but then a sitcom in that era is really unique to only uh, this show. Just before the, the, these few days, a producer gathered all of us together on WhatsApp chat. And suddenly we see like about 30 over people on the chat all reminiscing about the show just because of uh, it being on Netflix again. So yeah, we got yeah. to catch up actually with everyone. Because the show was so popular, what was the effect, the impact on your lives at that point? Did you know that it was going to be so big? I thought people would enjoy watching sitcom, but I didn't expect them to be so involved in our roles, calling us by our stage name rather than our real name. But I didn't know that they really relate with that era as well and enjoy every moment with us. Yeah. All we knew was we enjoyed doing it because we, we shoot from morning to night and we, we basically laugh from morning to night, okay? We made our directors very frustrated. You look at Yen Tao and his very tight pants and he kept, and he kept sliding, he kept sliding in and out and sliding in and out, you know? He, he, he's just hilarious. I have a question. I, I mean, I know Lena mentioned that it just didn't come together, but are you guys going to push for like a, re a actual reunion? I wanted to do a musical and then I gave up because I, I left Mediacorp. Oh. Then I lost all the rights to the show. But incidentally, on our WhatsApp chat lately, uh, our executive producer, Michael Wu, he was asking, you know, if we should do uh, something funny together. La. But the problem is, okay, I was 23 when I did Chen Mei Guang, okay? Very cute because it was very natural. Now 45, you want me to turn Mei Guang, 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 Guang? It's, it's very act cute already, okay? <laughs> <laughs> was it like one of your first few roles or something on TV? Like that's why you were having this sense of like novelty to everything? Yeah, so prior, it is. Yeah. Prior to that, I was only hosting, oh. but I've already worked with Lena on CTV. That's why our chemistry was mm. quite wonderful. And Bo Ying Ren was my first acting acting responsibility. Major, major mm. acting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is one thing about your characters that you guys really like and really stayed with you even after the show ended? What a question to answer though. <laughs> the boyishness not doesn't stay that long. I'm motherly now, not boyish. <laughs> <laughs> what I really admired about Lena was she wasn't that tomboy because the role requires her to be really very manly. So to me, that is the mark of a true actress. Xiao Lapa walk like a man and always wear pants and always fight with uh, Yan Tao. Mm. And they are like two brothers lah, basically. In fact, right, she was more manly than Yan Tao. <laughs> Because <laughs> <laughs> Yen Tao is so into his character, he will do one and then and two, then he will start saying his lines. Like, can you just carry up your line? Wow. How is he doing? How are the rest of the cast yeah. doing? Mm. Like Hui Fang Jie, we no, know, still acting. Right, no? Yen Tao, uh, he is the owner of a tuition center now. Because we caught up last year, Lena was shooting Tiger Mom, so she couldn't make it for our gathering last year, remember? Yeah. yeah. Li Qing, Huang Jia Qiang. He, he's oh, a stage Jia actor. He, he's a, like a despian and lihai. 
he was the one, right? We would go to him whenever we cannot pronounce a a Chinese word. <laughs> yes, he's our walking dictionary, walking uh, Wikipedia. Thank you so much, uh, both of you, for joining us uh, okay. today. Or today, actually, it's a uh, in such you. a joy. Yes, I'm so happy having the two of you here. Oh, thank you so much, guys, and yes. uh, we will see you guys, guys. around. Hopefully, okay. bye. See you all. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Having this reunion, and we are glad that you know they managed to take time out to come and join us. And uh, if you enjoy such content and you want to see more, remember to give us a like and subscribe to Asia One Corp. So if you want to hear the full conversation between myself, Kaping, <laughs> uh, Lina, and Sharon, uh, remember to head on to Spotify and listen to our podcast. And we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.